I am the cream, yeah. The cream of the crop. Oh yeah, start! What I take my gaming's Blu-ray King back with an all new Game of Thrones video. And you got the final season starts next month. Winter is here, and the show is going to come to an end. Now, naturally, I've been watching the show since season one. I have this feeling that I want Jon Snow to defeat the Night King, marry Daenerys, and they live happily ever after in Westeros. Now, I know a lot of fans want this to happen. Some might think this is going to happen, but this is not going to happen. If you think it's going to end happy, you haven't been paying attention. I initially thought there'd be like a couple people that survived, but now that the final season has finished filming, all the actors are coming out and giving interviews. There are exit interviews on the show. I got a completely new outlook on it. I feel like possibly everybody dies. Every single person dies. Because every actor that comes out and does, not every actor, but Jon Snow in particular, there's a couple other ones that said fans are going to be torn by the finale. Or something like that. You know, fans are going to be divided on how to feel about it. So this makes me believe that possibly the Night King comes through and just kills everybody. And everyone becomes White Walkers because they've been telling you the entire time, Valar Morgulis, all men must die. What do you call that? Is that a foreshadow? Have they been foreshadowing the entire series, telling you every single person is going to die? I'm really leaning towards that only because of these actors coming out and saying stuff like this. I feel like maybe they shouldn't have been talking because now it's leading possibly into spoiler territory. I also had a theory of people who would live. So we'll go over the list of the surviving characters and we're trying to pick up if there's a scenario where people live. Like I said, I'm on the edge of thinking it's either a couple. Jon Snow, I don't think he would die in the scenario that people lived because he's already died once and he came back for a reason. Why did he come back? Everything in this show happens for a reason. So there's a reason he came back. Daenerys. I think Daenerys is dead. Daenerys' only purpose was to bring the dragons to Westeros. The dragons are in Westeros. You got two dragons on the good side. You got a dragon on the bad side. So what else is there for Daenerys to do? She's made her way back to her homeland. I think she dies. Tyrion, I think Tyrion's gonna live. Only because George R. R. Martin has constantly talked about it's his favorite character. Would he kill his favorite character? Yeah, it's George Martin. Of course he would kill his favorite character. But I think, I just think, in the scenario that people live, Tyrion would be one of them. Sansa, dead. She's in irritants. She's dead. What was her purpose? I don't really know what her purpose was. I can't really think of it off the top of my head. But Rickon, Rickon's only purpose was to die. I feel like Rickon, like, you know, George R. R. Martin did a big outline of the story and then decided, hmm, I need a reason for Jon Snow to really get mad at Ramsay. Let me give Ned one more son and go back and write in another son in the past. You know what I mean? That, that's what I mean. Like every person has a purpose. Rickon's purpose was to not zigzag. Sansa's purpose was to help Jon win Winterfell back. She got the Knights of the Vale to come save Jon just in the nick of time. So, she's done. No other purpose for Sansa. Arya Stark. Nah, I don't know. I don't know about Arya. I feel like maybe Arya will kill Cersei. And possibly, she could live, she could die. I'm on the fence. I'm not too sure on her. But I think she's definitely going to kill, kill Cersei, which leads us to Cersei, who, of course, Cersei's going to die. Cersei's either going to be killed by Arya or by Jaime. One of those two. And then I think Jaime's going to die as well. Maybe they kill each other. Maybe the mountain finally kills Jamie. I don't know. Jamie's gonna die. Cersei's gonna die. Davos? Davos might die. Then again, Davos, I could see Davos also living. He could go either way. Theon? Dead. He's gonna, he's gonna save Yara. He's gonna die. Yara might die too. Euron? Dead. All the Greyjoys? Probably dead. They're dead. Masende? I think she'll live. Just because she's not really involved in the battles. You know, she might be off hiding somewhere. Whatever. Then we got Brienne of Tarth. She's gonna die. She's gonna die. Just because... She's gonna die. Then we got Samwell Tarly. Samwell, Gilly, I think they're gonna live. I think they would live. Bran, he'll live. Definitely. Okay, so then we got Tormund. Tormund dies. Tormund's dying, for sure. Bronn? Bronn's probably dead. Unless Bronn says, fuck this. Dragons and zombies. I'm getting on a boat and getting the fuck out of here. 
I could also see Braun doing that. Gendry? Gendry's dead. Gendry's only purpose was to run <laughs> to Daenerys and have her come save Jon Snow. Sorry, that's it. Jorah the Andal? Dead. Yeah, I feel like he's dead. I feel like uh, he might have like a little reunion with Leanna Mormont. And I feel like Leanna Mormont's dead just because she lives in the north. So I feel like a lot of the people in the north are going to die because of the White Walkers and whatnot. Right, then we got Beric Dondarrion, dead. He's already died five times. And the person that brings him back to life is dead. So, he's dead. Done. Sorry, Beric. Grey Worm, dead. He's a warrior. All the warriors are pretty much going to die. If you're fighting in the battle, you're probably going to die. Podrick, dead. Probably get killed with Brienne. Helping Brienne. Or, oh, Brienne's dead. Now you're standing here crying about Brienne's dead. I'm going to kill you too. Edmure, dead. There's absolutely no way Edmure survives. Okay? Absolutely no way. This is like the dumbest guy in the series. Oh, look at who. Edmure's fucking dead. The Animormant, like I said, dead. Sweet Robin, Jan Royce, and the Knights of the Vale. And I feel like they would survive only because they're closing their gates and they're not leaving the Vale. They're staying up there. So that's how I can see them surviving it out. Ed, he's dead. Sorry, Ed. You're dead, man. The White Walkers, they're coming. Coming for you. You're dead. Hot Pie, Hot Pie could live. It's possible he lives. Mary Reed is dead. Definitely 100% dead. I feel like her only purpose in the story was to guide Bran all the way to the Three-Eyed Raven. And the fact that she's alive now is to confirm that Jon is the son of Rhaegar and Lyanna Targaryen. And then they're both going to die. They're no longer needed. Uh, then you got Varys. Varys, I feel like Varys is going to live and die as an old man. Now Melisandre told him, I've got to die in this country, as do you. But I believe she was just fucking with him. You know, you're going to die here, but you're going to die old. And that leads us to Melisandre. She's going to die. She's probably going to use the last of her powers for something good and sacrifice herself and dies. Then we have Kyburn. I love Kyburn. I really hope Kyburn lives, but I can, I really just see him dying. I don't know. The sack of King Landing. I'd love to see him live, but I think he might die. All right, then we got Dario Naharis. Now, Dario is all the way in Marine and Dragon's Bay, so the White Markers aren't coming for him. He's going to live. Sandor Clegane, I believe he will kill the mountain, and the mountain will die, and then Sandor will die in the war. Uh, it's like the mountain is dead, and Jacken Hagar, since Jacken is also in Bravos, um, he's not going to be where the White Walkers are, so Jacken will also live. And then that leads us to the final big character, the Night King. Does the Night King survive? I feel like if there's any sort of happily ever after in Westeros, the Night King has to die. He would die. But like I said, that was my initial thoughts, just watching the season taking in the characters from a show perspective. Just watching the show. That was formed his opinion based on watching the show. Like I said, after the actors came out and started doing interviews and all that, I feel like pretty much everyone's dead. Everyone. Maybe Jon Snow becomes the new Night King. Something about fans being torn. What are you going to be torn about? What are you going to be torn about? You know where people are going to die. You're expecting people to die. Okay? And there's only the people you like are left. So... What is there to be torn about unless they just all die? Something like that. Let me know down below what you guys think is going to happen. And until the next time I see you, you stay true and you stay blue. Ooh, yeah. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home Make it home tonight.